Welcome to Dayla's class, brought to you by Alondra, Sofia, and Carmen. Can you guess what we will be making today? That's right, we are making s'mores. We're going to start by making our oven. You will need a shoebox, aluminum foil, black paper, tape, popsicle stick, marker, scissors, a ruler, and saran wrap. You will start by using these materials. Grab your ruler. Find the one inch mark. We will now make markings on three sides, the left, the bottom, and the right. You do not have to measure the back side since we will not be cutting it, but feel free to do so if you think it will help you get a straighter edge. We will now begin to cut along the lines that we made. Please be careful with this step, scissors can be sharp. If you think you may need help, please ask an adult to help you to cut along the lines or to at least help you get started. When you are done cutting, pull the flap towards the back. You may use a ruler to help you create a crease. Up next, you will need your aluminum foil. There will be two sides, a dull side and a shiny side. Make sure that your shiny side is facing outwards. For my oven, I used a whole sheet of aluminum foil and just wrapped it around my flap. However, that is not necessary. If you would like, you can cut your piece of aluminum foil and only stick it on the inside part of the flap. To finish up the top part of our oven, we will now need our saran wrap. In your kit, you should have two pieces. Fair warning, it can be a little tricky to work with saran wrap. As you can see in the video, I had an extra pair of hands to help me, or two to be exact. We are using saran wrap because we need something transparent that allows the light to get through, similar to a greenhouse. The wrap is also insulation so the heat can escape, similar to a blanket. Make sure that the wrap is tightly sealed with tape and that there are no openings so the heat can escape the box. I will not be cutting our last two sheets of aluminum foil in half. I do advise you to do this inside. As you can see, there was a lot of wind outside when I was trying to cut this and it was not making it easy. Once your aluminum foil has been cut, place it on the inside part of your shoe box with the shiny side facing outward. Aluminum foil is very reflective, especially when there's a lot of light and the surface is really clean. So try to keep your aluminum foil as straight as possible. To finish the inside of your box, you will need your black sheet of paper. You will place your black sheet on paper in the bottom of the box. Have you noticed black objects get really hot in the sun? This is because black absorbs all wavelengths of light and reflect none. In other words, the more light it absorbs, the hotter it will get. Remember when I said aluminum foil is very reflective? Well, look at this clip closely. Notice how as I move the flap, you can see the light bouncing off. To make sure that the light is bouncing directly into our oven, we will secure our flap with tape and a popsicle stick. Your angle may vary based on your oven and the position of the sun. Now that your oven is complete, it is ready to be taken out to the sun. Make sure that you leave your oven for at least 30 minutes so it can preheat. After so much building and waiting, it is finally time to start cooking our s'mores. I put down a napkin for easy cleanup, and on top of that, I put my graham cracker and my marshmallow. Now we wait for at least 30 minutes for our marshmallows to cook. We're almost done. It's time to add the chocolate. The arms of the angel Please be careful when putting in your ingredients. I would not want you to lose a piece of chocolate like we just did. We now wait for 10 minutes for your chocolate to be fully melted. Be careful though, keep an eye on it. We do not want a soupy mess. In the meantime, let's talk about how your s'mores are cooking. Like I mentioned before, foil reflects light while the black paper absorbs heat. Once the paper is hot, it transfers heat to the s'mores. This is what we call radiant heat. Now that they are done, it's time to sandwich them together. Look at that ooey gooey goodness. Make sure to share your pictures and videos with us. Let us know how your s'mores turned out. 